Hi, welcome back. So today we're going to take a look at this question, assumption question, and we're going to do it. Okay, so first of all, let's read the question first. It says that Marcus paid $408 for 42 dinner sets. He spent $13 on each large set and $7 on each small set. How many large sets did he buy? So right now the question is asking for large sets. So we have to assume the opposite. The opposite in this case, it will be small, small sets. So assume all are small sets. Assume all are small. Okay, and then I will find 42. So there's 42 small sets. I multiply by small set is $7. Okay, so I'll work it out by my side. 42 times 7, 2 times 7 is 14. 4 times 7 is 28, plus 1 is 29. So $294. Okay, $294. Now, Marcus paid $408, but he spent $294. So there is an obvious shortfall over here. So what do we need to do? We must find the big gap. The big gap. So I minus. Okay, I'll do it by the side again. 408 minus 294. I will regroup over here, 1, I'll get $114, so this is the big gap, I'll just write big gap, big gap. Now I have to find the small gap next, the small gap will be one, the difference between one big and one small, so I'll find small gap, so one big is 13, one small is 7, equals to $6. So this is why I call the small gap. Now, to find the number of large sets, I'll need the division of the big gap against the small gap. So big gap over small gap, small gap, over here I will get 114. I divide it by 6. Okay, I'll do it by the side. 114 divided by 6 times 1 is 6. Regroup, 5. I pull down the 4. 54 divided by 6 is 9. 54. Okay, so I will have 19 sets. And these 19 sets belong to the large. Okay, and this is how I solve it. And then I'll write my final statement. He bought... 19 large sets. Okay, and that is how you do it. Okay, so I'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.